Well, there's clearly been a battle of wits off the field as far as tactics are concerned. And there's Jim McLean's lineup to cope with the league champions. Gary McGuinness plays from the start. And Dave Bowman is the unlucky man out. He's been left on the bench. The key man in the United midfield will be Jim McAnally, who's passed a fitness test to play today. And he's likely to be directly opposed to Paul McStay. Celtic leave Joe Miller and Tommy Barnes on the bench with Mark McGee lending his support to the front two, Frank McAvenny and Andy Walker. And the first appearance for the Celtic captain Roy Aiken after suspension. He's back in the side, but Mick McCarthy and Derek White retain their positions. A capacity crowd inside Tannadice and absolutely perfect conditions as the match starts with Dundee United giving Billy Thompson an early touch of the ball. And these opening stages will be very interesting indeed as these sides feel each other out tactically. There's Ian Redford wearing number 11, being brought down heavily right at the start by Peter Grant. The referee Bill Trombey taking a firm line immediately and he's going to have a word with the young Celtic midfield player. And that really was a very hefty tackle by Grant. You see Redford here moving onto the ball, appeared to be going clear, and Grant came clattering in with that tackle. Celtic wall being lined up for a United free kick. Now this is a possibility for the shooting prowess of John Clark. Certainly well respected by the Celtic players, lining up a four-man wall with McAvenny on the end. The referee appears not to be satisfied that the 10-yard rule has been applied. He's waving back the Celtic wall. Here goes Clark. Well, he got past the wall all right, and Ian Andrews made rather a meal of it. But under no pressure with any United player coming in. They get the arriving late. Wallace is clearance. There's McKinley. That was a superb effort from Billy McKinley. Well, this would have been a goal in a thousand, this one. The firm-headed clearance by Chris Morris. There was McKinley taking it first time in the drop, and that was only inches too high. Good leap by Aiken. Flag is up against Redford on the near side. United move to a halt. Slicer on McCarthy and Carricker catches in. Dundee United take the lead, and it was a gift from Mick McCarthy. Well, McCarthy will certainly dread watching this again. Came from Ian Andrews. McCarthy trying the casual ball back. Miscued completely. Kevin Gallagher wasted no time drilling the ball beyond Andrews, and United are in front. Back pedaling furiously, this Patalainen using his physique on Chris Morris. Now Gallagher, so the defenders have to be careful, they could easily concede a penalty kick in there. There's Malpass to McAnally, a great chance for United. Too far ahead of Bowman, and it was blocked by Rogan. And the United players looking for a penalty kick, but Jim McAnally linking brilliantly inside the box to play that right across the face of Ian Andrews and just too far ahead of Dave Bowman. And Ian Andrews appeared to be at sea as White turned it over for the corner kick. And that was one of his best. Andrews didn't reach it. And Redford playing that in, looking for a colleague inside and finding only Derek White. There's Redford on the break once again for Dundee United. Morgan gets back, but there's Bowman for United. Gallagher and Patalainen waiting in the box. It's Patalainen who goes up. And there's a bit of pushing by Patalainen. It wouldn't have counted. Well, it's a moment of high drama here at Tanadai says Bowman picked up the loose ball after that challenge from Rogan. Made his way to the flank, sent over the curling cross. Patalainen with a little bit of a push in his marker, nodding it against the underside of the bar. And an accurate ball for Joe McLeod, and Joe McLeod is through. It's McLeod through on Ian Andrews, a chance to tie it up. 
of confusion there between Chris Morris and Derek White. They were so anxious to get the ball forward. It's for Celtic to get back in turn. The final whistle goes. Dundee United are winners by one goal to nil.